Good morning everybody. How's everybody doing? Today we're going to show you everything you need to look over on your 99 to 06 and 07 classic Chevrolet and GMC pickup before you take a big trip. Hey guys, so one of the first things you probably want to do is you want to look at your intake if you have your stock intake and see what motor. And you see this one has a 5.3. And you've got your transmission fluid and your engine oil. Uh, before you start anything, you want to check your air filter and you want to check your oil and check your transmission fluid when it's running. But the only reason I say check your motor, which motor you have in it is for if you figure out that you do need something, you already know which motor it has in it so you can order your part without having to run back out here and look at it while you're on the phone with somebody. I gotta check the belt and it's nice and tight. It doesn't look frayed. It actually looks brand new. All the hoses are tight. You just like to check everything. After you've checked all your hoses and everything, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start checking my fluid, the fluids. So I can check this and it needs some. Now I'm sure if you guys are watching a video like this, I would assume you guys probably know how to check your own oil. Now with the transmission fluid, the, this truck is cold. It's been sitting over here, up here at the shop all night long. Everybody says you want to get it up to operating temperature before checking it. Well, that's not necessarily true because there is a cold check level on the dipstick of, you know, 99% of the vehicles out here. So I'm going to go ahead. You do have to start it. You do have to start it and check it while it's running. It's actually the warm. It has to be in here to be warm. The cold line is right here where my thumb is it's hard to see with the camera you can actually kind of see the line so this little section there's actually two lines here and there that's cold and this is warm <laughs> and this is good i figure most stuff is going to be good on this truck and i think he takes care of it pretty well also, you guys want to check your battery terminals, make sure they're not corroded, and if they are, get the proper treatment. You can get it at almost any store, any automotive store. Brake fluid, and as you can see here on the side, if you can, there's a maximum level and a, and a uh, minimum level. So we've got a minimum and a maximum right here. Minimum. All right guys, so now what you want to do is you want to figure out a way where you can get the front end of it lifted At least the front end of it lifted so you guys can check your Your outer tie rods your lower ball joints your upper ball joints your inner tie rods on some of these trucks This particular one is new enough. It has a rack and pinion whereas my 99 did not it had the the pitman arm and had all them extra arms underneath here that this one that with the newer vehicles they've done away with and you want to check your bushings for your sway bar bushings all of them up here the upper lower and the main, this main one here and on four wheel drives which this one's a two wheel drive on four wheel drives you want to check your front differential fluid check your cv shafts make sure there's no play in them make sure they're not about to just completely come unglued on you if you can you can check your lines up in here and maybe even your fan shroud and everything which you can't see on camera because it's too dark under here and you definitely want to check your tires for anything wrong with them now if, uh, if you just bought tires and there's nothing going to be wrong with this guy did he just bought these Michelins not from us but I know he just got them not too long ago and then you also want to check your spare tire if you have it you want to check it make sure you put air in make sure you put air in all of your tires if you're going to be running, you know, up the highway, mostly, I recommend 40, between 40 and 45 pounds, depending on if you're hauling anything. I'd go ahead and air this bad boy up to probably about 50, just in case it's got a slow leak for some reason or another. You, you want to check your 
rear differential fluid, which is 3H drive right there. And you, you know, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty kind of thing. You get it out, make sure your pinion seal isn't leaking, which is, it's actually inside the differential right here. And this one looks like it might, it's not leaking full blown, but it's got a little bit of moisture and it's not even quite moisture. It's not even really making my hand, my finger dirty. And this particular one, since it's a two wheel drive, long wheel base has a carrier bearing along the middle part of the drive shaft. You can see it's got two different drive shafts and where you want to check that. And if it's got grease ports, you definitely, or uh, grease fittings, you definitely want to grease them, which I'll do in a minute. And you want to check your exhaust for exhaust leaks. If This is all if you can get underneath here, you know, guys. And your fuel lines and brake lines, which these are brake lines over here. Make sure your oil plug is tight and your oil filter is tight just to make sure it's not leaking. And uh, there's not really any new moisture under here. It looks like it has every, some stuff has been wet before, but it had been fixed for some somehow or another. And it doesn't leak now and it's just kind of built stuff up you want to spin the front tires if you can this is one reason why you want to have it lifted check the ball joints and to spin the tires you want to spin them nice and quick if you can that way you can hear if it has a wheel bearing going bad in it it'll sound like a tiny roaring or if it's real bad it'll be a full-blown roar so with that being said guys I hope that this video was helpful and I hope you guys have a new, uh, few new ways to look at vehicles, look at your own vehicle the way you have never been able to before on your 99 to 2006 and 2007 classic uh, GMC and the Chevrolet pickup. That being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. If this is your first time on the channel, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and check out my other content. And uh, I hope this video was informative for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next step, love.